What's up YouTube, this is Josh V06, also known as TPH, and today I'm going to be showing how to crack web. Um, this video is actually for hackforums.net, I'm going to be entering a contest, but uh, they got like a whole bunch of like, like sections, they got a section on just dedicated to tutorials, there's like a bunch of pages, they got a bunch of, they got video tutorials, go so check them out there. They got a section for, if you're new there, you can introduce yourself. They got, um, newbie, if y'all are newbies, you know, just post something, you won't get made fun of. They got programming, Mac, they got video game emulators, they got everything. You can learn a lot from them. But, uh, again, I'm gonna be showing you how to crack web. Uh, this is my laptop. I'm gonna be booting off of Backtrack 3 Beta. For some reason, final won't work for me, but again, I just want to say this is a controlled environment. There's a Linksys WRT54G with DDWRT firmware. I'd say it's about a good 70 feet away. And I'm, I'm be also cracking the uh, password on. And that chihuahua right there. Um, it'll be pretty hard because it's moving, but uh, no, I don't I won't get signal from here. It's gone. Okay. Okay, so we're just gonna crack the router. Okay, it's got 10 letters, it's web. I was just kidding about the dog, okay. Um, I'm gonna be showing three parts cracking web with, your, with one machine only on the network, cracking web uh, from your machine. To someone else's from another client and cracking web by if, if you don't have a card uh, an injection card then you can uh, you can just sit there and sniff and get enough data packets if there's no one's on the network then you're hopeless you know you won't do anything but I'm using air crack ng aerodomp or air crack ng suite and using RT73 which is a compatible injection card. It's actually called the Hawking. Mine is called the Hawking HWG1A. Um, I'm getting some noise levels over there. <laughs> but uh it's uh I bought it at Best Buy it was like 40 bucks I mean it's got it's got an external um, it's called the RPSMA antenna. You can I like this massive antenna, um, you can put whatever on it, but I got the stock one. Um, you'll see later, but it, like, the case broke off, so it's just like, you know, the green silicone chips that on the antenna. But, uh, so, let me go ahead and boot up. Okay, remember it's backtrack 3 beta, not the final because final doesn't work for me. Okay, hurricane pass, you don't need that. Here's my laptop name, got some stickers in the back. why this one's here but oh well loading all the drivers and Linux and all that good stuff you could do this um, someone else who is entering for a contest for the contest is uh, they made a, a tutorial on how to load Linux through VMware but um, I haven't I haven't looked that up yet but doing it the old-fashioned way. I like this part. Yeah, it actually works. No. Sounds like Windows, doesn't it? Alright, well, let me go ahead and set up my Linux Hypercam, and uh, I'll get back to y'all. Right, so before we uh, crack web, you want to make sure that you update your AirCrack package and your injection card driver. So 
Let me show you all real quick what the version is with Backtrack 3 Beta. Beta 1 R A57. So you want to make sure you update it because the latest version has a PTW attack which is a lot faster with cracking web. You need about 10,000 packets when normally you would need about 100 or 200,000. So I recommend that you put them on your flash drive beforehand or a CD or whatever. Here they are. And copy them. You got to put it in your root folder. Paste them there. Alright, so go ahead and open up a terminal and type in tar dash zxvf. And this is what I do to minimize on typing. Just drag and paste it. Enter. Alright, so now it, un it untarred the air cracking G package. So now you gotta go to the air cracking G directory, which is right here. You gotta type in cd air crack dash ng dash 1.0 dash rc1 hit enter and you're in the directory now type in make and it's going to set up the installation Alright, now type in make, install, enter. Alright, now cd dot dot to go back to original directory. So now we're going to update the RT73 driver. Um, yours might be different and instruction might be different. So make be sure to check out their crack with the uh, website. So I'm going to type in tar dash xjf. Drag, paste, so here it is, enter, type in, well for mine, what I usually do, I just press up, go over here to the last command, take off the tar.vzip2, take all this off, cd, space, and for my specific card, I have to go to slash module, enter, and I'm in the module directory, we go to the file manager here, here's module, and I gotta type in make, Alright, now I gotta type in make install. And normally it'd be going faster, but my CPU is capping out because I'm recording this. So now the last part you gotta type in mod probe RT73 enter. So injection card is now set up. And you get out of that. So that's about it.